Hi guys, welcome to another week of foodie gardening or berry farming as I think we should now call it. We've got um, loads of berries that are almost ready and we've had so many strawberries already this week and I'm about to collect up another load. The allotment's kind of been ticking along on its own really this week. It's not been the warmest week for it being June and I've been down um, watering and picking berries but I haven't done a lot of weeding or, or planting things out. I've just been um, letting it do its thing really. So let me show you around. The raspberries aren't netted so we are sharing these with the birds but there's plenty coming onto these bushes too. This is a really interesting one. This is Salad Burnett. And it's actually one that my mum bought me and it's an old fashioned variety. And um, there's, there's like a coolness in the, the leaves. It's um, almost, almost like cucumber. And you have that in salads. There's a sweet pepper coming. We don't have any cucumbers just yet, but they are coming along nicely. They've, they've really got bigger this week. This is the aubergine, which I really need to get out now. The Covent Garden seeds that they sent, they haven't done anything. I'm still watering them, but I've got no expectations for them. We've got a few tiny tomatoes on the sweet million, but there's lots of flowers. And there's flowers on the other ones as well now. It's really just the lettuce that isn't doing so well. Outside of the greenhouse, the sweet corn is doing okay. I would have expected it to be a little bit bigger by now, I think, but the stems are thickening up on it. It does need a good weed in there. This evening, my main plan is to get another load of strawberries because there's plenty in there. This is the first time I've had enough raspberries to take some home. And this is all the strawberries. It's quite a big one there. This is the second lot of strawberries we've had like this. We're doing really well. There's probably one more lot of strawberries, but I think these are like the huge ones that I've had my eye on. And it's probably the, the bulk of them we've had now. So the reason this video is called We're Rich is because of those strawberries. We were talking over on um, Self Sufficient Life, I think the channel is. I'll link it below. We were talking about what it means to be rich and I don't mean cash rich, I mean strawberry rich <laughs> not exactly strawberries but rich in experiences and being able to um, provide for people the whole experience of just growing those strawberries has been amazing from spending the afternoons tending them to now having kilos and kilos of them that I can share with people and put away and they'll last us for a whole year it's um, it's been amazing and I do feel very rich from from the experience it's just it's not something I was expecting to get necessarily from an allotment. Obviously I was hoping for lots of food, but the um, satisfaction that's come with it has been out of this world. So this is my comfrey tea. It's actually comfrey tea and nettle leaves. And um, it's been in there for a few weeks now, so I'm gonna dilute some down and give the tomatoes a feed with it. They are all in flower now. They don't all have tomatoes on them, but I think it's, it's um, a good time to start feeding them. Oh, that really smells bad. So it's actually one part stinky comfrey tea to ten parts water. So let's take this up to the tap now. So pouring it with that pink one first helps me measure it and it also helps get all the bits out of it. Oh, I think a bumblebee's gone in here with me. You hear it buzzing about. Here you go tomatoes, have a big feed. Thanks for watching guys, I'm definitely going to have a whole load of strawberry recipes coming up so stay tuned for those over the next week or so. Bye! Something terrible's happened to the gooseberry bush. <laughs>